Welcome to ChopHappy.com where the recipes are simple and the secret ingredient in the kitchen and in life is a dash of gratitude, yay! I'm so excited to have you here on the menu today is meatloaf parmesan, yay! Okay, so meatloaf parmesan is super easy. I can even say it, I'm so excited. Um, and there's two surprises. One, I use ricotta cheese, which guarantees its moistness and deliciousness. It's that thing that they always say on TV, those chefs always say, it's a thing that makes people go, hmm, why is this one so fabulous? And the other ones are, eh. Second thing is we're gonna stuff it with a surprise so it's not just parmigiana on the top, there's something surprised in the middle. So let's get started. If you need the recipe, you can look down if you're looking at YouTube into the description or chophappy.com. We always have a list of the recipes. So I've got a half a cup of ricotta cheese in there and I just put a tiny drizzle, about a tablespoon of olive oil in there for some good luck. I'm putting all the herbs actually into the ricotta cheese. So that's a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Salt and pepper, best friends forever, and they're a big pinch of that or a half a teaspoon. Just because I like to stay cheesy in the kitchen, I am also gonna put um, four teaspoons of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese in there. I think it just adds a nice salty flavor and it's that surprise, just like the ricotta that says, I love you, I love you family and friends. So I am gonna mix this. Follow your dreams. Your dreams can come true if you try, just try. So it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna continue with this. So now that we've got the cheese all set, I'm gonna put the two pounds of meat and I'm gonna take that paper out. Buddy, come out, you can't come into the recipe. I'm sure you're delicious and nutritious. All right, and that one, it stayed. And then a seasoned layer, so a big pinch of pepper right on the beef, and a pinch of salt, best friends forever, salt and pepper together. And then what we're gonna do is put a half a cup of breadcrumbs, I'm using Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, but any breadcrumbs will do. And my favorite part, are you ready? I am gonna crack an egg. So I apologize in advance for my non-skills. Um, Voila! One egg, and we're gonna do two eggs. In two eggs, okay, there you go. And I'm gonna mix it all together. And remember, as you're mixing it, I like to scoop up from the bottom and get the ricotta cheese off the bottom so it doesn't stick and everything gets in there. And you're just gonna mix it around until this gets nice and smoothly in there. And what I'm gonna do next, chop happy, happy people, is I'm gonna take this meat mixture and divide it in half. So I'm gonna take half of it, I'm gonna just use my hand to divide it, and I'm gonna take half of this baby, oh, this smells so good, and plop it right on to a sheet pan, and I'm just gonna form it into a beautiful loafy, and then I'm gonna dig in, and I'm gonna form a dent inside the meatloaf, keeping a good perimeter around it, and then I'm just gonna stuff it. All right, and we are going to stuff this with the mozzarella. Oh my God, your family is going to love this. They're gonna be like, OMG, you are the best. Although you already know you're the best. Sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit, especially with cooking, we get stressed out pretty quickly. But you know what? Just relax, have fun in the kitchen. And if you cut everything in the beginning before you start cooking, that also helps you stress-free cooking. Okay, so we got it just like that. The mozzarella in the middle. Take the other half and put it right on top just like that and then we're gonna just make sure that we press down to close in those edges so they don't see the mozzarella so it's a surprise when it comes out take your favorite tomato sauce I like Mario Batali's tomato sauce or Rao's tomato sauce those usually are the flavorous for me and we're gonna just throw a whole bunch of that right on there and I'm just gonna swirl it around and this helps it extra moisten up we're going to a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes, 40 minutes. And then we're gonna put on the cheese topper and some extra Parmesan cheese. It's gonna be delicious. All right, hang out for about 40 minutes. Go grab a cocktail and when we come back, we are gonna make meatloaf history together. Get this bad boy out of the oven. Oh my God, it looks so crazy good. I didn't even realize that its makeover is not complete yet. We are going to beautify this and ready for the party. It's time to beautify, put on some makeup or whatever it is you do. And those fabulous earrings you've been saving, Parmesan cheese all over. So if you want me to give you a measurement, I'm gonna say about a quarter to a half a cup, but I just do a full handful if you want. And then the other half of the mozzarella and I'm gonna just 
throw that on top. I will see you in another 10 minutes. That's enough time for a shot, maybe not a cocktail. Okay, here we go. Okay, the 10 minutes is up. Oh my God, and that cheese is melted and brown. Ah, oh, look at that. This is indulgent, but it is also gonna make you smile. All right, so let's cut into this bad boy. So let's cut right here. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Ah, oh, look how good that looks. Beautiful piece right here. Oh my God, that is perfectly seasoned. Oh, I gotta take another piece. Perfectly seasoned, delicious. You get that bite of that garlic and all that Italian seasoning in there. And then that ricotta cheese really makes it taste like butter. This is so good, so easy. And will make your kids smile and think you are the best. Mm. All right guys, go on to chophappy.com for this recipe and other fun recipes. And please subscribe and always remember, you are as fabulous as your meatloaf. You are awesome. You shine bright and shine bright every day in the kitchen and out. And I'll see you later. Chop happy. Bye, guys.